Imagine a world buzzing with activity, where tiny creatures work tirelessly, communicating in a language all their own. Welcome to the amazing world of bees. These little wonders inhabit our planet, carrying out jobs that are vital to our very existence. From the sweet honey they produce to the flowers they help to pollinate, bees play a crucial role in our everyday lives. Today, we are embarking on an exciting journey to discover more about these remarkable creatures. We'll meet different types of bees, explore their life cycles, learn about their habitats, and even discover how they make honey. We'll also delve into the fascinating world of bee communication and share some fun and surprising bee facts. So, come along as we uncover the secrets of the buzzing world of bees. So, are you ready to dive into this buzzing world and meet some of its incredible inhabitants? Did you know there are over 20,000 different species of bees in the world? Today we'll meet three of them, honeybees, bumblebees, and solitary bees. First, let's meet the honeybee. These buzzing buddies are real team players. They live in hives, which are like bustling bee cities with up to 60,000 bees. Honeybees are the ones that make the sweet golden honey we all love. Pretty nifty, right? Next, say hello to the bumblebee. Bumblebees are larger, fluffier, and dare we say, a bit cuter than honeybees. They also live in groups, but in much smaller colonies. And here's a fun fact. Bumblebees can fly higher than Mount Everest. Talk about high flyers. Last but not least, meet the solitary bees. As the name suggests, these bees prefer to fly solo. They don't live in hives or colonies. Instead, each female solitary bee makes her own nest. And guess what? There are more types of solitary bees than honeybees and bumblebees combined. Each of these bees is unique and special in its own way. They have different sizes, shapes, and even lifestyles. But one thing all bees have in common is their importance to our world. They help flowers grow, they make honey, and they're a vital part of our ecosystem. Each of these bees has a unique role to play, but to understand that, we need to look at their life cycle. From tiny eggs to busy adult bees, let's explore the fascinating life cycle of bees. It all starts when the queen bee lays an egg. After three days, the egg hatches into a larva which is fed by worker bees. Over the next week, the larva grows bigger and bigger until it's time to transform into a pupa. This is when things get exciting. Inside the protective casing, the pupa changes, growing wings, eyes, and legs. After about two weeks, out comes a fully grown bee, ready to join the hive. But each bee has a special job to do. Worker bees, who are all females, do most of the foraging, cleaning, and taking care of the queen. The drones, who are males, have one job, and that's to mate with the queen. And of course, there's the queen bee, the mother of all the bees in the hive. A bee's life is indeed busy, isn't it? Now let's take a look at where these buzzing creatures live. Bees make their homes in places you might not expect. From hives to nests, bees can be found everywhere. Some bees prefer to buzz around in meadows, while others might fancy a cozy hole in the ground. But no matter where they live, they're always hard at work. You see, bees are like the busy mail carriers of the natural world. Their job? Pollination. When bees flutter from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar, they're also spreading pollen. This helps plants produce fruits, vegetables, and seeds. So next time you're enjoying an apple or munching on almonds, thank a bee. But their role doesn't stop there. Bees boost biodiversity by helping different plant species to thrive. This helps create habitats for other wildlife. It's a big job for such tiny creatures, isn't it? Now that we know where bees live and how important they are, let's find out how they make honey the sweet treat we all love. Ever wondered how bees make honey? It's a sweet process that's both fascinating and complex. Let's dive into this sticky world. It all starts when our buzzing friends fly out in search of flowers. They sip sweet nectar from these blooms with their long, straw-like tongues and store it in a special stomach called the honey stomach. Once our bee friend is full, it flies back to the hive and passes the nectar to a worker bee. This is where the magic really starts. The worker bee chews the nectar, breaking it down into simple sugars. This process, called regurgitation, is repeated until the nectar is fully transformed into honey. The worker bees then store this honey in the honeycomb, a maze of waxy hexagons, and fan it with their wings to dry it out. When it's just right, they seal the honeycomb with a wax lid to keep it fresh. Isn't it amazing how these tiny creatures produce such a sweet delight? Now let's find out how they communicate. Bees don't talk like we do but they have a special way to share information. It's called the waggle dance. Imagine a bee has found a great patch of flowers full of nectar. She can't exactly draw a map or give directions, can she? So she does a dance. The waggle dance is a figure eight dance that bees do to share the location of food sources. 
the angle of the dance tells the direction, and the length of the waggle part of the dance tells the distance. If the bee waggles straight up, that means fly towards the sun. If the bee waggles straight down, that means fly away from the sun. And guess what? The other bees watch this dance and then they know exactly where to go to find the food. It's like a bee's version of GPS. Who knew bees were such great dancers? But before we go, let's wrap up with a few more fun bee facts. Ready for some bee lightful fun facts? Did you know that bees are champion flyers covering more than 80,000 miles to produce a single pound of honey? That's like circling the globe over three times. Most importantly, bees are our planet's little superheroes. They play a crucial role in pollinating the fruits, vegetables, and nuts we love to eat. Remember, bees are vital to our world. So, next time you see a bee, say thanks for all the hard work they do.